Have you started thinking green? Maybe you've got wishful thoughts of green grass, or maybe you're just thinking about your St. Patrick's Day festivities. Well, I've got something to keep your green going on. It's a green sauce that you can serve with pasta, and it's pretty simple, and it's very tasty. So I'll show you, you'll need your blender, so get your blender out, and I've got all my ingredients all set to go. I'm going to start by putting one can of coconut milk into my blender, and you can use low fat, the light coconut milk, or the full fat, which is a little creamier and a little richer. I'm using the regular full fat coconut milk for this because I really like a nice thick creamy sauce. So put that into your blender and then we'll add a few more ingredients. I've got one cup of parsley leaves, just kind of loosely packed put those into the blender. And sometimes I use cilantro, just depends on the mood, but today I wanted parsley. And then about a quarter cup of minced garlic and about two tablespoons of lemon juice. If I was using the cilantro, I would use lime juice, but with parsley, I like the lemon juice. Gives it a little bit of brightness. I've got one teaspoon of turmeric powder and about a tablespoon of grated fresh ginger. Put that in. And to, oh, let's see, about a teaspoon of olive oil. And the reason I put that in is because just that little bit of olive oil will help the sauce just cling to the pasta. I've got about a quarter cup of water and a little bit of honey, probably one to two tablespoons of honey. So get that all into your blender, and then we'll puree it up until it's nice and smooth. Once you've got a nice creamy sauce, just pour it into a saucepan, bring it to a simmer, and simmer it for about 50 minutes. Look at how nice and green that is. Doesn't that remind you of spring? It's kind of that lime green color. While your sauce is simmering, you can cook up some spaghetti noodles, douse those noodles with the sauce after it's been simmering for 15 minutes and it's ready to eat. You're gonna love this. I like to top it with some nice crispy roasted Brussels sprouts. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.